Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to cook mashed butternut squash. So if you've never thought of mashing your squashes or your pumpkin up and serving it like you would sweet potatoes or mashed potatoes, you very well can do that. Now there's a couple ways you can go about this. The butternut squash has to be cooked first. So you can either roast it, you can grill it, you can steam it, you can boil it, okay? Today I'm steaming it in a bamboo steamer. So um, that's how we're going to do this. And I have a lovely butternut squash from my garden. It's not a huge one, but it'll serve uh, me and mom for sure as a beautiful side dish tonight. So I'm going to peel this guy and I'm gonna get him chopped into chunks. So on my stove top, I have a wok with about two inches of water, I would say. I have my bamboo steamer, I have two um, layers for it. Okay, I'm just gonna use my vegetable peeler. I have a pretty strong one and it does a very nice job of peeling. So I'm gonna use that to peel my squash. I save my peels like this for soups and stews. I'm gonna put it in a resealable plastic bag in my freezer for whenever I make a stock or broth. So any parts you can't get peeled, I'm just gonna use a paring knife and finish off in a minute. So let's cut this guy in half and take out the seeds. Don't throw those out either. You can use those for snacks or you can save them for next year's planting. Make sure you check out my recipe for how to toast butternut squash seeds. Mom's gonna be so kind as to separate these for me. So carefully use your paring knife to finish off any peelings that you couldn't get off because of the strange shape. Now by using a bamboo steamer, we're actually going to be able to retain most of the nutrients. When you boil vegetables in water, lots of those nutrients leach out into the water and then you don't get to eat them. Okay, and then you just dump them down the, down the drain. So this way you get to keep lots of the nutrients in there. If you've never tried it this way, it's a great alternative. Bamboo steamers are relatively easy to find. Um, you can find them in your Asian markets and other specialty places. Um, and they're relatively inexpensive. You can cook vegetables, you can cook meats in there, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, let's cut that stem off. Look what a lovely little squash we've got. Beautiful. So we are just going to chop these into workable chunks, you know, relatively small because you want this not to take forever either in your steamer. Now squash is really a hard vegetable, but the steam will do a beautiful job of breaking that down. So you don't want them to fall through the slats on your bamboo steamer, so make sure that they're big enough. I'm doing maybe two inch chunks. And just lay them in one layer. The smaller the chunks, the faster it will cook. You want bite-sized chunks if you're going to be serving this um, right out of the steamer as your side dish. Perfect! So we're going to layer them on top of each other. My water, I can hear it boiling already back behind me. So you just want to steam them until they're knife tender. Use your little paring knife to see. And once this came up to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to a simmer because it doesn't need to be boiling ferociously either. You just want that steam to continue flowing. So place it on your bamboo steamer and let her rip. I would say, I'm gonna check it in about 10 minutes just to see where we're at, okay. So if my seasoning's ready to go and some butter, and so I'm just gonna check these for doneness. They've gone about 10 minutes. I suspect they'll probably take about another 10. They're softening up. They do need probably another 10 minutes. All right, we'll see you then. All right, let's test for doneness. Oh, they're done beautifully. Okay, now when you steam vegetables, you have the option of serving them just like that, extra healthy, or you can add some butter and stuff. We're gonna add a little bit of butter. So be careful, use your mitts if you need to. So there you go, beautiful steamed butternut squash in a bamboo steamer. All those nutrients are in there, fantastic. So I've freshly cracked some black pepper just gonna add that, a little bit of salt, a dash or two of cayenne pepper. You could add smoked paprika, that would be nice too. And of course some butter. So I'm just tossing that up with the butter and the spices. And that's as simple as it gets. Okay, so everything's tossed together. The spices and the butter and this hot butternut squash. And instead of using cream like you would do maybe in mashed potatoes, I'm gonna use some apple cider today. Apple cider is an absolutely phenomenal ingredient with squashes, I'm just saying. If you braise it, if you, you have to, I could have even steamed these with some of that. So I'm adding a couple tablespoons and that's what I'm gonna mash it all up together with. 
So mash it up just as finely as you desire. Okay, so let's try it, do a taste test. And make sure it's seasoned the way you want it. Mmm. That hint of apple cider gives a nice sweetness and a little bit of tartness. Boy, that's good. The butter is all nice and creamy and buttery, of course. And it's seasoned pretty much just right. I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt and a tiny bit more pepper, a little bit of cayenne. If you wanted to add more butter, you can. Let's make sure we're good. Mmm, perfect. So there you have it, some beautiful apple cider mashed butternut squash. You're gonna love it, and it was really easy to do. You can use different types of squashes here, you can use pumpkin here, you could even use carrots if you wanted to do something like that. Okay, it's a very versatile recipe. I hope that you try it and you'll think of using your bamboo steamer maybe a little bit more as well. Anyhow, that's how you do it. That's how you cook apple cider mash butternut squash. There you go. I hope that you try it. Beautiful side dish, great for the holidays or a midweek dinner. Either one. All right, follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe, interact with us, and let us know what's going down in your culinary world. All right, be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.